Well, good afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I'm actually out here in the outdoor studio getting ready for tomorrow. Uh, they are calling for a little bit of rain to start tonight and to rain through tomorrow. Um, two storms, not one, but two storms are converging, one from the Ohio Valley and one coming up the coast. Uh, to kind of bring some rain to the area and stuff. But, you know, a lot of times they're wrong, kind of like football prosconators. Prost okay, I, I, I butchered that up, but you know me. I'm the word butcher here. Um, but even if it does rain, this is a fully armed and operational battle station here because we actually have a ceiling over top of here, and I've got a canopy. So these chairs you see behind me, they're going to be dry. Now, we won't be able to have as full a space as we'd like to, but it's okay. It's okay because we also have the inside. So I'm getting ready for that and making sure that all the televisions are hooked up, ready to go, and that we are fully ready to rock and roll tomorrow. Now, a couple of things here. couple, just a couple. A couple of things here. Um, Brett Maher, okay, our kicker as well as Cooper Rush, have been elevated to the uh, roster for tomorrow. So we do have a backup um, quarterback, as well as having a kicker. And so there's that. Um, other news. I'm going to say something that's going to sound crazy, and you might going to say, what are you talking about? You know, the Cowboys have been stuck right around mediocrity. You remember when Stephen A. Smith used to always say 8-8, eight 8-8, eight, 8-8? Eight eight, eight eight? The problem for the Cowboys, it hit me. It's kind of like, I remember back in the you know, early 2000s or so, uh, basically if you're a basketball team and you were good enough to just kind of make the playoffs, but you weren't bad enough to really pick the top players to elevate yourself to be that good team. You were kind of stuck there in the middle. And so here's the thing. The Cowboys have had enough success that's prevented them from being successful. Does that make sense? It may sound crazy when I say it, but here's the thing. You have a season like last year, right? You look at it and you say, we're close. Man, we were 12 and 5. You know, had it been maybe a couple of plays here and there in the playoffs game, we beat 49ers and we go on to the next round. You say we are so close that you don't necessarily change what you're doing. And see, the Cowboys were successful finding Micah Parsons, finding, you know, uh, Osa Indigazua, finding Golston, that you look and say, we're doing good. We don't need to change. We found these guys. We found Diggs. We found CeeDee Lamb. We found Dak Prescott. And so you look at it and you say, we need to stay the course because we're so close. And you can look back, even back when we were 8-8, eight 8-8, and 8-8, eight, eight and, eight and, eight and, eight, and you looked at that and say, God, the last week of the season, had we won that game, we're in the playoffs. We're a playoff team. And you're kind of hesitant to change. And that's why we ended up keeping Jason Garrett for all those years. Because we kept saying, we don't want to change a whole lot because we've been good. Not great. But we've been good enough to compete. And maybe if we get a piece here and a piece there, we're okay to go through and win. You could look back for the last 20 plus years. That's the way it's always been. It hasn't been where we said we need to just completely rebuild and start all over. We don't want to change the whole things because we're close. We're successful. But we're not completely, you know, we're succeeding, but we're not successful. Being successful, being winning a Super Bowl. And herein lies the problem for Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones has been a little bit testy when he's been asked about, well, what do you think about Von Miller? And you've seen him there. Oh, man, that's teams that, you know, you, you get a Von Miller, you know, when you're trying to make that late season run. Well, it looks like the Bills are trying to make that run early. You look at it and say, 
we believe in our drafting so good that we're going to go ahead and get rid of veteran players that are proven, and we're going to pin our hopes on third-round draft picks because we're so good at drafting that a third-round draft pick is going to be ready day one to step in. You say that because you look at it and say, well, we don't want to pay Cedric Wilson, which was like $7 million. We want to rely on our draft picks because we're so good. You don't want to go through and say, hmm, maybe we should spend some money on Von Miller because he can take us to another level. Now, I can look at the defense and say, uh, Von Miller is not where we needed help. I believe in the guys that we have on our defense. I think we can be very, very successful with that. But I look at it from the standpoint of saying, on the offensive line, you have to go through and look at yourself in the mirror and say, where are we weak? What are the weakest links that we have on our team? And if the Cowboys really looked at themselves and said, what we have on the roster may not be good enough for us if we're talking about being a Super Bowl team. And this in lies the problem for the Cowboys. Success has been in the way of them being successful. They say, hey, we can just plug in because we know we got Micah Parsons. We might have the next Micah Parsons, you know, ready to take over on the offensive line and Tyler Smith. And what that breeds is a team that's good, that's never in the basement, but they're not at the pinnacle. And until the Joneses get out of that mentality of doing the exact same thing, it's going to be difficult for the team to reach that pinnacle. Now, maybe we're wrong. Maybe we're wrong. I hope we are. I hope in the end that Jerry Jones is laughing at everybody holding up that, you know, Joe Barty, I mean Lombardi trophy. But we seem to be here in the same place year after year. I have confidence in the guys we have on the field. I love the guys that we have on the field. I think they're great players. But will they be enough for us to go all the way? I don't know. And I guess for the Cowboys to be stuck in this mediocrity, and still be worth more money than anybody else. If it's not broke, why fix it if you're Jerry Jones? Well, we'll see what happens this season. Like I said, who knows how it's going to work out. We saw the Rams, you know, it's only one game, but we saw the Rams literally, ooh, having a really hard way to go. And, um, We'll just have to wait and see how it goes. Anyway, I hope you guys uh, tune in in a few minutes. Actually, this probably won't be done uploading uh, before we go live. But I hope you guys tune in for our live stream. And tomorrow, don't forget, we're going to start live streaming around 1230, maybe 1245 uh, for the day. We'll be here all day long. We're going to have people here, uh, depending on how much rain it is. How many people we'll have up here? We may have people on the inside, so we'll put an inside camera and stuff on so we can follow the ups and downs of everybody. But I'm Mark Holmes, and you know I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you soon.